Navantia, a Spanish shipbuilding company, has submitted a bid to the Philippine Navy to supply two Isaac Peril S-80 class diesel-electric submarines, equipped with air-independent propulsion technology. The submarine was designed and manufactured at the Navantia Shipyard in Cartagena, Spain, and is known as one of the long-range conventional attack submarines. In addition to its torpedo armament, the S-80 Isaac Peral can also be armed with U.S.-made Harpoon anti-ship missiles, adding to the vessel's strike capability. As part of its bid, Navantia also proposed the construction of a new submarine base equipped with infrastructure, training facilities, and logistical support in Ormoc, Leyte Province. The Spanish government also offered full financing with a sovereign guarantee of the loan amounting to 100% of the total contract cost. Payment will only be made after the first submarine is delivered to the Philippine Navy. Navantia is currently competing with France's Naval Group, which is bidding for Scorpene-class submarines. The competition between Navantia and Naval Group is intensifying, given that the Scorpene-class submarines offered by France also have a solid reputation in diesel-electric submarine operations. Both are trying to win a strategic contract from the Philippines, which is currently upgrading its defense capabilities amid geopolitical tensions in the Southeast Asian region. Scorpene-class submarines, like the S-80 Isaac Peral, offer advanced undersea attack capabilities, including the use of cutting-edge weapon systems and stealth technology. With increasing threats in regional waters, having reliable and high-tech submarines is an urgent need for the Philippine Navy. The offer from Navantia, which includes the construction of a base and full support in terms of training and logistics, is considered a strategic move to gain further support from the Philippine government. Meanwhile, the Naval Group is also expected to provide another attractive offer to rival the comprehensive package offered by Spain. A final decision on the contract is expected to be announced soon by the Philippine government, taking into account factors such as price, technology, and long-term commitment to strengthening their submarine fleet. The Philippine Navy's decision to choose between Navantia and Naval Group will be an important part of the country's long-term plan to strengthen its maritime defense. The Philippine government is currently considering various aspects of the bid, including technological readiness, operational efficiency, as well as long-term strategic support offered by both companies. Navantia has highlighted the advantages of Isaac Perel's S-80 in terms of longer operational range and the ability to stay longer underwater thanks to Air Independent Propulsion AIP, technology. This technology allows the submarine to remain submerged for longer without having to surface for oxygen, a significant advantage in modern military operations. On the other hand, Scorpene-class submarines also have similar advantages in terms of stealth technology and underwater endurance making them a strong alternative for the Philippines. The financing factor is also an important aspect considered by the Philippines. The Spanish offer, which includes a sovereign guarantee of 100% loan for the total contract cost, could provide fiscal flexibility for the country, especially in the uncertain global economic situation. Payment being made only after delivery of the first submarine also gives the Philippines time to better prepare its budget. As the official announcement from the Philippines approaches, the two companies continue to maximize their bids with additional perks, including infrastructure and training support that can strengthen long-term cooperation with the Philippine Navy. The Philippine government is faced with a strategic choice that will have a major impact on the country's future sea defense capabilities. 
With rising tensions in the South China Sea and surrounding waters, the decision to strengthen the Navy's submarine fleet is a top priority. Both Navantia and Naval Group recognize the importance of this contract in the geopolitical context of Southeast Asia, and they sought to offer added value beyond just submarines. Navantia has positioned itself as a long-term partner by offering more than just submarines, including the development of infrastructure in the Philippines that could become the center of a future submarine base. This infrastructure is designed to serve the Navy's various operational needs, from submarine maintenance to technical training for personnel. The plan to build a base in Ormoc, Leyte Province is a strategic component that could potentially increase the Philippines' military presence in the region. Meanwhile, Naval Group relies on its global experience in building Scorpion-class submarines, which have been operated by various countries, including India, Brazil, and Malaysia. The success of Scorpion submarines in the Asian region lends credibility to the French offering, given that the geographical conditions and threats in the region are similar to those faced by the Philippines. The Naval Group's experience in collaborating with Southeast Asian countries can also provide security for the Philippines in terms of long-term operational and technological support. Apart from technology and infrastructure, the issue of technology transfer is an aspect that cannot be ignored. Both companies are trying to convince the Philippine government that they are ready to transfer the knowledge and technology needed to operate and maintain the submarines independently. This move could strengthen the Philippines' domestic defense capabilities while reducing dependence on foreign support in the future. The final decision on which submarine the Philippines will choose is expected to be heavily influenced by each company's ability to meet the country's tactical and strategic needs, including financial support, infrastructure development, technology transfer, and flexibility in long-term contracts. This intense competition is an important highlight in the region, as the Philippines' decision could affect defense dynamics in Southeast Asia and beyond.